Here we are going to be discussing diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And pathologists typically like to classify their lymphomas as two types, small cell lymphomas and large cell lymphomas. So this is the large cell variant. It's important to remember that diffuse large B cell lymphoma is actually the most common type of lymphoma that you're going to encounter in your patients. Uh, if you take care of lymphoma patients. And as usual, we're going to start at low power. And you can see that in this lymph node, there is no normal lymph node architecture left. Basically, what you have is a giant sheet of these pale, uh, very large cells. And to appreciate their size, we actually have to go down to higher power. And so here we are at high power. And let's see. Uh, that's nicely focused we can see that these are very large lymphocytes and so we do this by typically comparing them to background lymphocytes meaning that other lymphocytes in the background that are normal so we see this guy that's a normal lymphocyte and when we compare it to these guys around it you'll notice that the enlarged cells are about three to four times the size of the normal lymphocytes and this is pretty common for diffuse large B cell lymphoma so this is what we would call a large cell lymphoma. You'll also notice that the large cells have little nucleoli. Uh, sometimes more than one, the cell actually has two. And the other thing that you can see in these tumors is a high mitotic rate. So I'll see if I can find a mitotic figure. Uh, it's important to remember that these, uh, these tumors are very aggressive and they grow very quickly uh, as evidenced by the numerous mitotic figures. So here's a mitotic figure up here and here's another one right here. Uh, because these tumors grow so fast, they actually respond better than slow-growing lymphomas to chemotherapy that we might use on them. So in summary, this is a nice case of a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma.